Hello and welcome back to Planned on Planning. Here we are in my fitness planner. So while February is all about love, do not forget to love yourself, boo-boo. And we are going to do just that. I have some new fitness goals in mind that include something ridiculously crazy like giving up coffee. Exactly. But... Honestly speaking, I like tea. And I drink coffee as part of like peer pressure. <laughs> For real. I know it seems crazy, but I do. I drink coffee out of peer pressure. And to like fit in with the cool kids and all that wonderful stuff. So, um, normally I would do my fitness while she at the top, but it is... February Valentine's so I'm going to use some hearts some pretty little hearts that I'm going to stick all the way across and this is like really funky um stickers truthfully so I just kind of need to measure it out and see how it's gonna go and I think I'm gonna cut it right here And cut this piece off. There you go. So, let's just bring it a little further down. So, it sticks. So, it just peels off the page like that. And just because I'm just like a little on the paranoid side with this. I'm turning it upside down just to like help myself. Oh, I'm so nervous. I feel like I'm gonna get it wrong. See, and then I'm just rolling it out. It reminds me of using a uh, gold foil. So you know how super delicate gold foil is? It has the same temperament, basically. Or the same feel. Just really, really delicate. Alright. So I'm going to cut it right here. And then I have to figure out some tape. All right, I'm going to go from this end. Ah! And just peel off a little bit of it. Just to... Get myself going. And then just slowly peel it out. There we go. Alright. The hard part is over. So there we have. Super cute at the top. And then I just wanted to add a little extra flair. So I'm just going to put some gold polka dots. I didn't really have pinks. Or maybe let's... Let's see. No, no. Let's keep it simple. I got it. Go hearts. Let's do that. It's still simple. If I could find where it begins. Yes. And I'm going to put it pretty much under, right underneath. There we go. Now, what I love about these book bounds is this. I just make a crease and then I can keep on going. So no more cutting like each page. I love it. I love it. So there we have is a lovely start to the month. 
Um, and like I said, I'm giving up coffee this month. So let's make a big stink about it. No coffee for me. So I found my coffee stickers. And I'm just, actually, let me get rid of the numbers. Just so they're not distracting. So, what I also wanted to do is because I kind of feel like it'll be a nice, like, reset. I don't know if that makes any sense. But, so we're going to do this and I'm gonna call it a do-over because like I, said, I think it would be like a cute little start there's some little coffee beans <laughs> so so a do-over reset to the system no coffee all month. And I'm just going to write that in as well. I use uh, fine liners, Tri Plus fine liners. Actually, let's use a mop. Well, there. So I'm going to write no over here. And then no down here. Okay. So, no. It's a little do-over. We're going to reset the system. You know, everybody wants to do a cleanse. That's really unnecessary. The human body cleanses and takes care of itself on a regular basis and doesn't need any help from us. But the way it can do that is if we pay attention to the things that we are putting in our bodies and are putting in our systems. So, I figured... By giving my body a little coffee break that you know I'd be doing my part and helping it out just jed even though my body's like thank you but no thank you boo I got this and I'm like oh whatever but seriously it doesn't need me all right so new month means some new fitness gear So let's get some fitness stuff going on in here. Show off my cool fitness clothes. My cute gym bag. Some cute leggings, y'all. Oh, I got a new pair. I got new sneakers for Christmas that I'm super excited to be wearing. I actually got two new pair of sneakers from my amazing siblings. They spoiled me. They spoiled me. But what I do need to figure out is I need to get a new water bottle. And not like, oh, my water bottle's bad or I have like 50 million water bottles in the house already. I actually don't. I have, I want a water bottle that I can keep in the car because what happened today, and I'm kind of embarrassed to say, is that in my haste, because you know, I had a couple of extra minutes to get ready, so I decided to do some quick little cleaning, and guess what? I ran late, but in my haste, I forgot to take my water bottle. And then, here I am at the gym with no water bottle, and I got to keep on running to the fountain. Sweetheart, that is no fun at all. So I want to get a water bottle that I can keep in the car. And that's how we start my month. All my gym essentials. No. 
no coffee this month. We're going to go back to our tea. And I made sure to have my tea ready to go and on hand. I have my tea, my tea bags, all that wonderful stuff. Of course, hot water is never in short supply. So, I'm going to make sure I am successful at drinking tea all month long. All right. So, what I like to do, um, so I have to just figure out which, I'm going to do like a monthly challenge this month as well because it's about self-love. Um, and I want to make sure that I'm keeping myself in tip-top shape. So, this week, um, what I'll do is I'll write in what my challenge would be. So, I'm going to do one of those things where it's like Monday, you do this. Tuesday, you do that. You do like 50 push-ups, uh, squats, bicep curls, that stuff. So, that's what I'm going to put so I know what to do every day for the week, um, for the month, as opposed to writing it in each day because I got other things that I want to put on. But on Sundays, what I like to do is my meal prep. So in my, I'm sorry, um, my fitness, and I was using uh, Healthy Heroes as well for my stickers, I found these stickers that have meal plan, but they have breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I don't need it for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I just need to write down um, because I keep my breakfast really simple. Um, I'll either have like oatmeal for breakfast or maybe like eggs, like a really simple omelet. So I don't need to write that in because I'm not going to get too crazy with that. Actually, we could. Oh, let's do it. Let's, let's do it. Let's do it. I wasn't going to originally. So the point of it, I wasn't going to originally write breakfast and lunch down because dinner is usually a toss up as in what I'm going to eat, depending on what time I get home. I know it doesn't sound great, but that's the reality of it. That's my life. Love me. Um, so I was just going to white out a breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and then just use it to what I wanted to do my meal prep for, um, for lunch. But I can get a little creative with breakfast as well and like I said dinner happens at home and it's just kind of a free-for-all maybe some fruit or something like that that I'll have when I get home for dinner but what I'm also going to be doing this month is getting back into my intimate fasting mm, these are too big darn it darn it darn it so let's get our scissors out Make some slight adjustments. Ugh, they are too big for our squares. All right, let's cut the bottom off. I told you we didn't eat dinner. So we're just doing breakfast, lunch. For our meal prep. So I'm going back to doing intermittent fasting and I like the 16-8 method that works really great for me and what that is is 16 hours of fasting, 8 hours of eating and during those 8 hours you get in everything you need, your proper caloric intake, work on your macros. Make sure you're getting the protein you need, the carbs you need, and you're good to go. And I do my eight hours of eating, basically my work hours. So I have breakfast uh, starting at 10 a.m. And then I go from there. So I'm eating basically between uh, my eight hours of 10 and 4 but I'm going to write all this down, just so I remember. So here's our dinners. We never eat dinner. <laughs> We're so rebellious. Oh, my gosh. So I'll write down breakfast and lunch that we're going to do. So when I do my meal prepping, so breakfast this week, I'll have my oatmeal. Um, and my oatmeal actually consists of uh, rolled oats, quinoa and chia seeds um maybe if i run out of oats this month 
the rolled oats this month i'll do maybe steel cut oats if they're on sale but that's basically what i have for breakfast because it all you know cooks easily and the same i add a little bit of cane sugar but i always make sure to put in cinnamon and it tastes really really awesome i do add the cane sugar not to make it sweet but just to add some sweetness to it so i'll probably use maybe like um a teaspoon of sugar honestly speaking or a teaspoon of honey if i have honey on hand for lunch um i find it really easy to do veggie bowls so that is honestly my go-to for lunch and also um i may do salads so i think i'm going to incorporate some salads this month into my food so that's what's going to go on there for my meal prep um, i'm going to do my fitness challenge of I don't know. I haven't narrowed it down to which one I want to use. To be honest, I'm sorry. I'm still looking, still trying to figure it out. But I'm going to get it. I promise. And then I also want to make sure on Sundays, I'm getting a little more yoga in. So yoga has been amazing to me, to be very honest. I completely, totally, honestly love yoga, and I think it's awesome. Um, it really helps me to focus um, because, you know, to when you do yoga, you want to be in the moment, which helps for focus, which helps for breathing. Things of that nature. So for that reason alone, I completely, totally, utterly love yoga. I do find I have not been drinking enough water. So just little reminders throughout the month. From my little water checks. Let's add another one. Another two. Bam. And what I've always loved are these little wellness reports. Actually, let's put it here. Just to make sure, you know, you're getting everything done. Honestly, this is a little check-in type thing. And I love doing yoga on the weekends. But I also think um, with enough focus that I can add it to my actual week. It's going to be quite a challenge, but it is something that I think I'm up to and up for. And as much as I dread it, it's time to weigh in. And I want to do that early on in the month. Do I have a... Wait. I had an arrow. I heard so I had just like some random arrows on a page. Yeah, here we go. Random arrows on a page. So I'm gonna do a start weight and an end weight. I know, lost some weights. The scale. I lost the scale looking for the arrow. Oh, here we go. Okay. So that's where we start, and this is where we end. There we go. And what goes on in between? Oh, do we even want to talk about it? <laughs> 
but nonetheless let's just put some great inspiration just in the middle a don't give up and a yes you can how about that and this sword today strong tomorrow okay so this is how we're gonna get started with our month so like i said i just wanted to take some note so we're gonna have breakfast at 10 so 10 a.m is beef house we're gonna do a 1 p.m lunch and then end off with a light snack after the gym and that's how i'm going to that's how i'm going to do my eight hours on my intermittent fasting and i'm doing the 16 8 method so 16 hours i'm fasting eight hours i'm eating during this 24 hours and that keeps me going i have my meal prep for sunday and I got my workouts that I'll put here to keep me going for the month. I love it. How about you? Thank you ever so much for joining me. I had a wonderful time with you. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, need any fitness help, uh, have any fitness questions, you can hit me up in the comments. You can follow me on social media. I do have a fitness page and a fitness brand. I do uh, fitness coaching. So feel free. Any questions you have, um, I'm here to help. But in the meantime, in between time, later days.